Hi, my name is Robin Wong. I'm a photographer based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I have with me a Canon PowerShot G1 X and this camera has a micro four thirds size image sensor. I want to share my experience using this camera in this video. Let's do this. Before we start, here are some important disclaimers. I have no connection or affiliation with Canon Malaysia. I bought this camera with my own money. I found it at a used marketplace, Carousel. It was selling at a price that I couldn't resist. I was genuinely curious about this micro four thirds sized image sensor in this compact camera made by Canon. Obviously, this is not going to be a review for this camera. There's no point for me to review an old camera. This PowerShot g x was launched in the year 2012. That's more than 10 years ago. What I want to do is just to share my experience using this camera for street photography, what I like and dislike about this Canon G1 X. Let's start with the things that I like about this Canon PowerShot G1 X. Number one, the almost micro four thirds size image sensor. It is not micro four thirds, of course. Canon made it slightly larger. It was 1.5 inch type image sensor. And it makes sense. Having a much larger image sensor compared to most other compact cameras, it brings a lot of benefits. You get more resolution, dynamic range, high ISO, better tonality, and yet it achieves the balance of still keeping the camera and lens really small and compact. That's what Micro Four Thirds is all about. So I was very surprised when Canon launched this G1X about more than 10 years ago that they actually validated the importance or the significance of a Micro Four Thirds image sensor. The second thing that I like about this Canon G1X is the versatile zoom lens. In terms of equivalent reach, it starts from 28 millimeters wide angle, it goes all the way to 112 millimeters at the telephoto end. That's about four times optical zoom. You can do a lot with this range. You have wide angle composition. You can zoom in a little bit or all the way for that tighter background compression. It has a variable aperture starting from f2.8 and it narrows down to f5.8. Some will complain that this is not very attractive. We would prefer something like f1.8 to f2.8. But hey, this is a compact camera and if you compare to any entry-level offerings from DSLR or mirrorless cameras. They all have kit lenses that start from f3.5 to f5.6 and you can, still can do a lot with these lenses. And this is quite a sharp lens as well and I like that Canon keeps this really compact when it's retracted with the power of the camera. It is still a very portable setup. The third thing I like about this Canon G1X is the image stabilization. I believe it is lens-based and it really helps, especially if you're shooting at the longer end of the lens, if you zoom in all the way, it helps to mitigate the shake. Or if you are just shooting at slower shutter speeds, the image stabilization just boosts the confidence in nailing the shot. It is not as effective as, say, the 5 axis image stabilization that we get from Olympus, but it is still very, very good. And I will take this over no image stabilization. The fourth thing I like about this Canon G1X is the build quality. This camera, although it's a compact camera, it is built like a tank. It has metal construction all over the body. And trust me, this camera is more solidly built in comparison to some of the modern full-frame mirrorless cameras, say from Sony A7 series. I am not kidding. This camera is so well built. The 
The fifth thing that I like about the G1X is the swivel screen. The screen flips out and swivels around and really helps for low angle and high angle composition. I would prefer it to be a tilt screen, which will be quicker for photography, but I understand that this camera was designed for video use as well, in case some people wanted to shoot video. But then again, this was released 10 years ago in terms of video specifications. There really is nothing to talk about, so I do appreciate the swivel screen. It helps, and it does make a difference. The sixth thing that I really like about this Canon G1X is handling. The camera has substantial hand gripping area at the front. There is plenty of place for the fingers to grip and there is the rubberized texture as well. And then there is the thumb hook or thumb rest area at the back of the camera using the thumb hook and the hand gripping area at the front. It gives a very comfortable, very secure handling for this Canon G1X even when I'm shooting with long duration of time. The seventh thing that I like about this G1X is plenty of dials and controls all around the camera body. It feels like a professional setup. It has a dedicated dial for exposure compensation. It has dual dials for the control from the front and the back. And this dial's set up with buttons which you can customize for various controls. It helps to get to settings very quickly. And I appreciate these controls. They are logical and they make sense. The eighth thing that I think what Canon got it right in this G1X is having a customizable My Menu. Of course, we know that camera menu system can be really complicated. It can be really hard to find certain settings. So having one page for us to customize and put in whatever settings that we want or we'll get into it very quickly, it helps. And I think all cameras should have My Menu and Canon got it right in this G1X. The ninth thing that I like about this Canon G1X is the image quality. The large lens on this camera in combination with the large micro four thirds size image sensor. Well, slightly larger than micro four thirds, that's 1.5 inch type. Well, you get the point, larger sensor, larger lens. It produces excellent results. Images come out very sharp. It has plenty of fine details, very good contrast, really usable dynamic range. If you want to raise the high ISO number, there shouldn't be much of a worry. The camera can still handle it. I wouldn't say that this is better than any micro four thirds camera out there. I still think that say the Olympus EM5 and EM1 would still produce slightly better image quality in comparison to this G1X and even Canon's APS-C DSLRs will produce better results. But you have to see this as a compact camera and for a compact camera the images that you get out of this is actually very impressive. When it comes to technical flow controls, yes there is a little bit of corner softness, vignetting, chromatic aberration, flare, some problems there in here, but none of them are too serious and they are not deal breakers. I'm perfectly happy with the results that I get from this G1X. The 10th thing that I like about this G1X is Canon colors. You get a signature warm, pleasing Canon colors from this G1X and I like how it renders skin tones. Generally, the colors come out very lively, very vibrant and very lifelike. Generally, Canon got many things right with this PowerShot G1X camera. I think it's a very capable compact camera and I've enjoyed using it. Having said all that, I must also admit that there are some things that I dislike about this G1X. Number one, I think the optical viewfinder is pointless. The optical viewfinder is not through the lens. So what you see on the optical viewfinder is not the same as the framing that you get from the lens. You don't get any information overlay on the viewfinder, where it's your focusing point, or your camera settings. So just looking at a blank viewfinder, and even at the wide angle end, you can see the lens in front of it. So I think it's quite pointless, especially in the year 2012, 2013, we are moving towards electronic viewfinder that allows you to do so much more. The second thing that I dislike about this G1X is no direct ISO control. This camera has 
three dials, three command dials. It makes so much sense if one of the dial you set shutter speed, the other dial you set to aperture, and the other one, ISO, but there's no way for us to customize the dials for such direct controls when you are shooting manual. I think this is a missed opportunity. Number three, I really dislike the design of a dial being on top of another dial. Hello, Fuji. <laughs> I'm just so shocked that Canon will implement this on their PowerShot camera. Now, this is not a small camera. It's not like you don't have enough space to put the dials and Stacking the dial on top of another dial it just makes things a little bit complicated. As we move the dial, we may accidentally change some settings that we don't intend to change. The fourth thing that I dislike about the G1X is the minimum focusing distance at the longer end of the lens. When you zoom the lens a little bit, say to 50 millimeters equivalent, 80 millimeters equivalent, say I want to take a portrait, I want that nice proportionate look with compressed background, so I zoom the lens, right? Then the minimum focusing distance becomes 1.5 meters. That is not easy to work with. I have to step back quite far from my subject, and if I want to go near I have to switch to macro mode. It just doesn't make sense. It's not practical switching between macro and non-macro just to get that tight headshot. And I just think that it's very poor implementation on the lens focusing distance. Why doesn't the lens detect that, oh, this is quite close. I will just automatically switch to macro mode. I think that's not very hard to implement. The fifth thing that I dislike of this camera was the price at the launch. With the similar price range, you can actually get other better alternatives. One that can, I can think of that's launched about the same time, the year 2012, is the Olympus OMD EM5. The first OMD from Olympus, the EM5 original, it features micro four thirds image sensor that's roughly about the same size with the image sensor in this G1X. And you can change lens with the camera, you can change the telephoto lens, macro lens, ultra wide-angle lens, or prime lenses to get even blurrier background for your shots. And the camera is weather sealed, it's made in, with magnesium alloy body, it's rugged in construction, it has 5S's image stabilization, which is more effective than the image stabilization in this camera. It has electronic viewfinder, it has touch screen, it has a lot of other features and capabilities that just blows this Canon G1X out of water. I'm not saying that it is a bad camera. It is a very capable camera. It is a very compact camera. It's very well built. It produces excellent image quality. It does what it does really well. I just feel that for the asking price, you can get much more from, say, the Olympus EM5. Now that it is more than 10 years later, I can get this for such a cheap price. It is so cheap, I'm not going to disclose it here. <laughs> With that cheap price, I think this is worth getting. I think it is worth exploring. I think it does perform really well even now in the year 2023. That's all I have to share about this Canon PowerShot G1X. I thought it was really interesting that Canon included an image sensor that is very close to a micro four thirds format. Have you owned one yourself? Have you used the G1X before? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. If you've enjoyed looking at my photographs, if you found my sharing beneficial, please consider buying me a cup of coffee or you can contribute directly to my PayPal. Links in the description below on how you can do that. Any small contribution goes a long way. It will definitely help me to continue making more content and publish them right here. Until the next one, please go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.